What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you a brand new video, and I have some incredible attacks to share with you guys today, coming from our war against none other than War and Glory, and an incredible performance uh, put up by them. Uh, they had several Lemby 11s. I believe they were double digits on 10 V10s, so good job to them. Uh, and they also did have slight advantage, um, Town Hall 11 and a Town Hall 10. At the, end of the, at the end of the day, I do not think it would have mattered. But with that being said, I have some awesome attacks to show you guys uh, that we, uh, we did on our side. And like you guys saw in the thumbnail, I will be showing you the, the, the guy, I will be showing you guys the attack on number one and the very reason why you should never, ever, ever rage quit. But before we get into that, before we get into that, I have some surprises for you guys from this war as we pan on down here. We got to start off with the Town Hall 9s, uh, specifically CRB, also known as Chief Redback, bringing whatever attack you want to call it to whatever base you want to call it. The, what are the funkiest, I'm sorry guys, this is one of the funkiest Town Hall 9 base layouts that I have ever seen, uh, but we're going to see how CRB does what he does. For those of you that do not know, the only man that I know in the game that is a fully maxed Town Hall 9, other than the fact that he does not have Hounds unlocked, his uh, Dark Barracks only go up to the Witches, but we're going to see why that is. Starting off, he's bringing four Golems to this attack. Uh, knowing the Styles attacks that he does, I'm pretty sure he will bring one of the Golems on the back end. I have not watched this attack in its entirety yet, uh, but I saw that he had a three-star. And I'm sorry, guys. When this guy gets a three-star, we got we got to put it on YouTube. Uh, as we see, we had Golems coming down, Bowlers coming out of the CCs, got Baby Dragons working, uh, had a Rage, a Jump, a Heal. He still has a Valkyrie to deploy. He's got a couple hogs still. Uh, he, there goes the Golem on the back end. Uh, kind of doing a naked queen walk, uh, if you will, over here at 3 o'clock. Skeleton spelled down. Kind of, um, skeleton spelled distracting the air defense. Uh, and knowing CRB, this dude, I'm telling you, this guy comes up with hands down the craziest attacks that I've seen. You tell me how he breaks bases down, I would really, really like to know. Uh, nice hog hitting that spring trap on that Tesla. Very well placed spring trap. Hog just went flying. But as you guys see, it's only gonna be a matter of time. He still has two full golems, haven't even popped yet. Uh, bowler's doing work. We'll go ahead and times this, like I said. We know it's a three star, it's just a matter of how long will it take until he takes the last building down. Saving the best for last, Town Hall was the last building to go down uh so we will go ahead and jump up that was our town our, our town hall nine feature from this war i will be showing you guys my 10 v 10 three star uh which was on this base right here so we'll go ahead and click on that there we go uh doing queen walk bitch i mean this attack i mean it just seems to work so well especially on a base lot like this you can clearly see where the jumps are going to go uh where the spells are going to go um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and start off just do a real cheap funnel just with a pair of minions to make sure the queen goes the right way and to make sure the witch bowler portion that will be up at the top goes the right way. We are bringing a couple healers uh, for the uh, for the bowler witch portion as we do have quite a few DPS. Uh, we do have a couple splash uh, defenses going to be coming from these mortars. So we want to make sure uh, that those stay ni nice and healthy. We've got queen over here at 9 o'clock. She will be walking down. And here comes the witches and the bowlers. We got, I believe it was three and four. Just a pair of healers behind them just to keep them up uh, nice and strong. And because we have, I mean, at this point in time, whether it's a, a level one Inferno Tower or a level three, if it's on single shot, it's pretty much going to be doing the exact same damage. So we went ahead and brought the CC Giants. Uh, they are leading the charge. We got a whole wad of bowlers right behind them. Lost three Giants right off the bat. Um, kind of freaked me out a little bit. But as you guys see, these bowlers are just going to come into this core and do work. Uh, they, will, they will be taking out both heroes. Uh, what is going on here? There we go. <laughs> So uh, they did go ahead and take out um, the two Teslas in the first and front target compartment. Went ahead and took out the two Teslas on the backside and front target compartment. Bowler's getting absolutely roasted 
on the giant bombs on the back end. But if you guys see, uh, we do have a nice healthy flank still over on this side. And we do have Queen uh, rounding the bend here at 6 o'clock where she'll be ending this. Look at the ske OP skeleton spell. Uh, Going to be taking out uh, that expo, which was on ground. So that was pretty much locked on to the troops for the remainder of the raid. Uh, but yes, OP skeleton spell taking out that expo, uh, which all the troops would have ended up ending on. Uh, so I'm really, really glad that I brought that skeleton spell. But that is going to do it. We did have a hound that came out of the CC. Queen is going to go ahead, swag her ability, wrap it up. Shout out to me. I was happy when we took out that Town Hall 10, which was the lowest Town Hall 10 on the map. Uh, but we'll go ahead and check out. We did have uh, five 10 10s I won't be showing all of them. Shout out to Chimo. Uh, he did have an awesome attack. I'm going to show you guys Clayton Bigsby's attack. He was clean of mind. We had an awesome, awesome plan. Uh, we had a heal spell that was just a few tiles off. So he's going to go ahead and clean up this attack. But this is pretty much exactly uh, how I originally laid it out. Um, he did bring the baby dragon. I did like that. Uh, there is no defenses that can target uh, that baby dragon, which is going to take the ta or take most of the health of the town hall down. That way his kill squad stays up a little longer. He's not going to have a bunch of wizards and his heroes um, beating on it while the defenses destroy his golems. So he's dropping down uh, first golem, goes ahead and pops the wall. Notice how he saves the second one, which is what I did not do. There he goes. Now that means he has a full health golem untouched heading right into the core of this base. Uh, we do have the classic jump rage for the kill squad, bringing five bowlers uh, to go ahead and do some work. That baby dragon's still up. Uh, it will get shot out of the sky from that air defense, but it did more than what it was supposed to. Uh, we do have a damaged CC coming out, and he will be starting hogs down here at five and six o'clock, where he does have three heal spells for them. Uh, so right here, dropping down the hogs, uh, he is saving four that he will be dropping on that mortar again just to make sure that all the hogs stay inside the base you don't have a bunch hopping out of the wall uh out of the heal spells getting targeted by the defenses so those four hogs were very crucial to this attack dropping down one giant and the cc hogs uh, to go ahead and take out these two teslas which is really really nasty especially with that wizard tower in range of the teslas uh, they're going to go ahead and take out the Wizard Tower, meet up in the heal, and you'll see he does still have one more heal spell. You can probably figure out where he's going to be dropping it, as we do have a Bomb Tower and a Wizard Tower um, on the very back end. Very, very nasty, but beautiful heal spell, followed up by a Giant Bomb. That's the one that, com that completely wrecked me, uh, but right there, all kinds of hogs up. Even his Queen managed to survive with his initial kill squad, so we got Cody... Uh, Cody G doing absolute work on this base. Huge shout to him uh, for getting an awesome 10v10 three star. And just a classic CB uh, hobo, abs or uh, shattered hobo. Absolutely loved it. Big shout to you, my man. And we'll go ahead and show you guys a couple more before we show the reason why you should never rage quit in this game. Hopefully, it's a learning lesson for everybody. We're going to go ahead and show these nuts attack. Uh, right here, not mine, uh, but the guy, AKA Fuzz. Um, also doing a, like I said, this is the attack that is super, super hot right now at Town Hall 10, doing a straight up uh, shattered uh, hobo. And you'll see, I mean, this is a sub two minute raid, gonna end with more hogs than I think he even started with. Uh, but right here, we have one golem on the Tesla over uh, up at the top of the base. Other golem was on the mortar. Queen doing a beautiful uh, naked queen walk right behind that golem. Uh, he went from the golem to, or he went from the mortar to meet up to the other Tesla, jumping straight in, not using any wall breakers. Going to get tons of value from this kill squad. Uh, and you'll see he even went ahead and decided to go ahead and drop the heal spell. As you see, uh, one of these inferno towers was on multi-target. That's why I went ahead and used that heal spell. So that way his kill squad gets even more value. So he's only going to be bringing two heals for uh, the hog portion. Baby Dragon uh, doing absolute work down here as we'll be taking out that Tesla. Going to go ahead and start his hogs off. Uh, he did bring, I believe, 22 of them. And he also brought uh, bowlers in the clan cast. So he's not bringing... Um, He's not bringing CC hogs to this attack. So as you guys can see, goes ahead and drops down the first heal spell where all hogs are going to go ahead and clump up. 
take out the archer tower go ahead and take out the wizard tower even the hogs on that archer tower that is still inside that heal spell and you'll see you definitely know right there goes in drops down the last heal spell covering the giant bomb uh, the bomb tower the Tesla kind of reaching even the expo a little bit has a nice split right here and you'll see right there uh, look at how many hogs he has left up on this attack and even has both heroes still up pretty much swag archer queen ability completely smashed that base so huge shout out uh to fuzz getting that 10v10 three star guys getting minimum this dude's getting at least one 10v10 every war uh for the mo uh, for the most part uh so we'll go ahead and check out uh this attack by luke um, this will be the last 10v10 3 star that we'll be showing and then we'll go ahead and show you guys that 10v11 attack that you all are here and waiting for. Bring in the miners guys. Um, I, I, I still believe from the attacks that I've been seeing from our clan um, and some attacks against us, miners I still believe are going to be a part of this meta. I don't think a lot of people are giving miners a chance mainly because of the infernal towers it was the multi-targets that completely wrecked minor raids because obviously you could not heal through them before but now that you can um but since we're seeing all these infernal towers on single target the miners just rip right through them uh luke is going to be bringing five heal spells and you'll see right here just gonna uh drop down king with just a couple bowlers uh, to go ahead and take out some of this trash funnel also getting some defenses and you'll see queen will be taking out enemy king uh, who was reachable from over the wall they went in aggroed popped ability but you'll see uh he's gonna go ahead his queen's gonna take out that tesla and that cannon miners are already in doing work uh and again he didn't bring a rage to this attack um which actually surprised me i thought he'd want to bring a rage for the core being as there were three uh, max Expos plus the Clan Castle, but he just went ahead and went with the five heal spells. And you'll see um, all those heal spells are covering pretty much all these defenses. Uh, the, the base, for those of you guys wondering, the base is usually looking for is when you're having both Infernal Towers on single target, which is very common, uh, and a Hound CC. Uh, definitely give Miners a try if you guys come across a base like that, and especially one where you can Queen Walk uh, one of the sides. Uh, last heal spell is down. Um, miners are clumping up on that last Inferno Tower. They're going to have a nice split where he's only going to have a couple uh, take out that bomb tower with just a couple shots. And you'll see right here still has all of his healers up. Uh, Queen at full health. Even though he popped ability early, uh, it just shows you the value that he got from his Queen on this attack. And look at how many Miners he still has up. Again, it's just one of those attacks where it's just a matter of time. Uh, when you're going to go ahead and get that three star queen ends up popping hound uh, but you can see even though he has uh, five or six miners left up it's still enough especially once they go into the ground and the archer tower can no longer do any damage uh, huge shout out to luke uh, he's definitely been favoring the miners uh lately. him and fuzz um but yeah definitely got to give them a try but that is going to do it uh that will do it for our 10 v 10s yeah that was yeah that was a dip so we're gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, the reason why you all are here, uh, the attack right here, I'm, I'm actually going to go ahead and pause it just to show you guys the attack that PSC is going to be doing. So he is going to be, or what he wanted to do was a queen walk into a, uh, just a classic, uh, Valk dive to go ahead and grab the town hall, bring in a few bowlers. Um, so right. So usually when you're going to be doing a queen walk or a queen charge on a town hall 11, you're, you're looking to at least, at least get 20% from your queen let's see how much percent uh my main man psc is going to get so here we go uh gonna be starting over here at about 2 30 uh ch check this out guys uh he's gonna go ahead and drop down his queen this is why you never rage quit in this game whatever happens just lay down and take it and make the most out of all attacks wall breakers down goes ahead and almost gets the wall popped so definitely not starting out uh, as he wanted queen down uh, healers behind her so right here rage was about his rage was about five seconds too late um i would say nine out of ten players would have just said you know what fuck it i'm done they'd probably uh just hit surrender throw their ipad or their phone and just cry in a corner for the rest of the night psc 
he will not he will not rage quit here we go cc Gollum uh, went ahead and deployed that with a few bullers behind he is determined he is not giving up on this base even though his queen literally only took out two buildings uh so right here we got king down up at the top followed up by a rage uh drop down uh, about three-fourths of his Valkyries to go ahead and clear a nice funnel, detonate any traps, hanging on to dear life to these four Valkyries. There they go. Um, they're also going to be under rage. You have King in the core doing work. You see, even still have a Golemite poison went ahead and took out the damaged CC. And look at this, guys. The Town Hall is already down. He has one more Archer. Baby Dragon doing work up at the top of the map, you guys. He is at 48%. Uh, we have Baby Dragon grabbing 49%. How much percent is he going to get? Will the Baby Dragon get the Tesla? No, he will not. Yes, he did. 50%. And check this out. He has one more Archer. Look at look at this. This Archer. I'm sorry, guys. This Archer is literally on the brink of death. She is about a foot away from ending her life. But he's going to go ahead and grab this gold mine. The question is, is he going to get 1%? Or is he going to get 2% from this gold mine? Uh, if you answered, uh, there you go. If you answered 2%, you were right. Uh, Clutch Archer, a foot away from death, getting 2% from that gold mine. Huge shout out. Huge shout out to PSC. Uh, Queen Charge slash AKA Queen Walk. Should have at least gotten 20%. Dude got two buildings from his Queen Walk still ended up getting the two star huge shout to him huge shout to everybody in forge from steel uh we got the defeat obviously we just faced war and glory uh but it was a very very fun war 109 to 115 was the final hopefully you guys enjoyed the attacks we had some town hall nines in there had some 10 v 10 three stars in there and to teach all you boys and girls a lesson on why you should never rage quit this game no matter what happens. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.